It gives me joy. It gives me a spark. The spark I give them, I get, I get it back. And for me, it's not, a, it's, it's not work. I still look after my grandparents in Fiji and I always had the passion to look after older people. Loving, caring, spending time with them. I just feel they're so vulnerable and they don't get to see their families. Oh, sorry. And I just feel that they're my family. And I'll do best um, for them while they're here. So when I leave work, I just feel rewarded and at peace that I have done a huge difference in their lives. While I was on the floor, whomever I was looking for, that I've made a huge difference. I see in their eyes, like uh, my dementia patients, even they can't put in the words, I see the love and spark in their eyes and it tells me that they're comfortable with me and they're loved and, and they're worthy. So I see in their eyes and whoever can talk, they tell me. They give me a hug and say, Shirley, I'm so glad you're here. When I met Flory, we just bonded straight away. Sometimes it takes a while to bond with residents, but Flory and I just bonded straight away. Like a grandma and granddaughter relationship. She's everything. <laughs> She's everything to me. She's really bubbly. She never complains about anything. She's in pain a lot every day, but she never complains, poor me, poor me. She always give you a smile, always give you a compliment. She's always happy, joyful. She's just lovely. She's caring. Hard-working farmer's hand, isn't it? She keeps things nice, she's thorough. The moment I stepped in the door, she was here and I felt, I felt happy. Make, make them feeling worthy and valued, that they are people. And I love to give that to them. For me, it's not a job, it's a calling. I get so much more out of it than what I put into it.